Today I'm going to be doing a video full of Euphoria outfits. I'm sure almost everyone's heard of Euphoria by now if you don't already love it. But if you don't already know, it is an American TV show focused on a group of high schoolers um, and they tackle some really heavy, very realistic issues. Aside from the great storyline, they've also become especially popular because of like their crazy, like creative makeup and the outfits that they wear. And in the world of Euphoria, it's like completely normal. And I absolutely love that because honestly, it's how it should be. We should definitely be able to express ourselves however we want. In saying that, I will admit that my eye makeup today is a little bit boring because I do have to go out somewhere after, but hold on. So anyways, as I was saying, why should we be limited when it comes to self-expression when there's so many options and fun colors and other things to try? I'm like very actively into the whole rhinestone thing. I think Euphoria is a show that really helps people come to realize this, me included. So on that note, we'll start with the outfits. So this is actually the base for the first outfit. I made a reel and a TikTok in this outfit because I think it's personally what I would want to wear the most if I was a character in the show. So I've got like this really nice like white knit button down like cardigan top it's like a very like soft knit material and then also this mini skirt it's like in a baby eggshell blue color and it's like a pleated skirt and it's pretty short but it's actually got shorts underneath so um, I do still feel very secure but of course we've got to add more onto this so I actually have these shoelaces <laughs> they're like the thin round type so you can't actually tell that they're shoelaces so I'm going to be using these to just basically wrap around myself Then I'm gonna wrap that around two times. I'm gonna tie a bow. Tie it this side, this side, this side, this side. And it's gonna start looking a little bit like those string necklaces that were really popular a few years back. I want the bow to be like at the side a little. And then the second one I'm gonna place down here. This one's just gonna have a little like crossover effect. Ham kind of vibe. So that just adds like an extra little interesting something something. And then I'm also gonna go in with these sheer white knee high socks. I'll also be adding these white lace up boots, toughen it up a little. This is what the chair is here for, by the way. And that would almost be the final look. I just feel like this look is a bit playful, so I think it would suit a high ponytail. Okay, my hair is curled, so like it's looking a little bit funky. Let me just try to shape it a little so that I don't look constantly windswept. Okay, this is the best I can do, but I just don't want to move my head. But yeah, that's the final look. inspired by anyone but um, I did think of Cassie when I saw the baby blue and this kind of reminds me of like the body harnesses that Kat likes to wear but yeah I like it I think it looks kind of like whimsical a little bit and this is the base for outfit number two I don't know if it looks like it but it's actually not a dress so we've got this crop top it's got like a one shoulder sort of cut out thing going on and I really like the details it's got like one thick strap one thinner strap, I thought that was quite unique. And then we've also got this mini skirt. It's like a mesh, like stretchy material, and it's got like these, like the shirring point details going through it. So this look actually is inspired by someone. I don't know if you can make any guesses yet, but you probably will once I add these. So I have been really, really into like arm warmers and leg warmers these days. I predict that they will be a massive trend. I already know leg warmers are pretty big already, so they can be pulled up all the way like this or you can have them shorter not like this and it's like miraculously they don't slide down i don't know the technology the engineering behind this like arm warmers are so handy to have because you can like wear them and they keep you warm but like on those days when it's too hot to wear a jacket i don't know if you can tell but this was inspired by maddie with her party look i think it was in the first episode and she was wearing like this a really cool black dress of like it also had like this arm sleeve thing going on she also wore one of those like 90s like wavy headbands um i don't actually own one 
yet but I do have these two headbands that I can't decide between let me just try to do it in her style which was like with the hair pushed all the way back and just again my hair is curled right now so I don't know how crazy this is gonna look oh my gosh just fluff out the hair a little there we go anyway so that is option one and then the second one Okay, instantly I think I picked this one. The hair is still looking a little bit crazy, but I think I like how it sort of like shines through. Adjust the hair in the front, very important. Push back, but it's still framing my face. And she also wears these hoop earrings, so I'm gonna add hoop earrings. How does it look? And for the final touch, I'm going to add these shoes. I love these shoes, they're like pretty high but they're still comfortable because they've got that platform in the front so it might seem like it but it's actually not that arched but the heel is still very like satisfyingly high so kind of like suede in the front and then it's got like this ankle strap it's like still very like classy so a very casual look just kidding um it's more like a party look this look has these like girly and glam elements but it's also like gives a bit of attitude Look off, I think I also need to have the attitude. This is the next look. Believe it or not, it actually started by being inspired by Maddie and Cassie. You know that one like twin look where they accidentally dress the same? And when I thought of these pants, I instantly thought of Maddie's look. It ended up sort of being like a Jules look, just very like colorful, like pastel. The original plan was also to put a cardigan over this, but I'm glad I ended up going with this mesh uh, top underneath. I think it makes it a little bit more unique. So these pants have a really high waist and like a light lilac color. They're kind of like a stretchy linen it's like a linen blend so it's really comfortable and then this top just has some really cute floral embroidery it's like really cute and colorful and then this mesh top also has like floral patterns on it I'm not the best at pattern mixing but I do feel like this kind of works with like the whole flower motif going on I am going to complete the look with these white ankle boots and for the hair since it's giving me sort of like art ho Pinterest soft girl. I'm thinking Yeah, something in the front is like this. I've clipped back the front parts of my hair with these two bobby pins and that is the final look We're gonna try to recreate Cassie's Oklahoma look. It's become like one of the most funniest scenes. I saw some people like choreographed an entire TikTok dance routine to the entire little rant that she had in that scene. So it's just become that iconic. Now I don't have the exact thing, so I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna turn out, but I'm gonna start with this dress. In the scene, she wore kind of like a fitted, pleated, like mini dress, but I don't have anything like that at the moment in the color that I want either, so I decided to go with this one. It's like a really cute and dainty, like a baby blue wrap dress. This is a dress that I usually wear to like special occasions, like weddings and things like that. It usually comes with like a little like strap ribbon that you tie at the waist, but uh, we're not gonna use that today because we have this. <laughs> so I have this blue gingham blouse. I saw that she wore like a blue puff sleeve tie, like a cardigan thing, and then she like it like ties at the front. It's really cute. This is like a really similar pattern. And I was just thinking if I could just sort of roll this up, sort of smooth it out at the back as you go um, around to like the waist area, maybe a little bit above the waist, and just sort of tie it at the front. I'm gonna do a double knot so it doesn't fall out. And what's really handy about this one is that it's got these like shirred sleeves, so it's like stretchy and then make it a short sleeve like hers. I don't know, how do we feel about this one? I feel like it would have looked a lot better if the skirt actually was like a more straight fitted style. I just feel like pearls will go with this for some reason, I don't know why. I'm just gonna clip that here. She had that one side of her hair pushed back. And finish it off with these shoes. It's like these nude heels. These have like a kind of crocodile pattern on them, but it's really subtle. And then they've got this detail where they sort of tie around your ankles. This is the final look. So I'm gonna go to my Oklahoma audition now. Bye. I have never, ever been happier! 
the last look is inspired by the Lexi. It's very like loafers, cardigans, Peter Pan collars, like a vintage classic sort of style. I remember someone saying it reminded them of Taylor Swift style, which I agree with. So I've got this dress. This is one of the few things that I have left with a collar on it. Um, it's just like this black fitted dress and like this stretchy jersey fabric and it's got these like white stripes all over it so it kind of elongates the body as well modest but still cute kind of like sexy librarian so to match this look I'm gonna wear some black like sheer knee-high tights and then these patent black like loafer style shoes with like this massive buckle on the side and then on top of this dress I want to try adding this oversized blazer it is very oversized just by the way yeah that works and the studious look of this dress inspired me. I'm gonna add a headband as well. The good thing about headbands is that it really adds volume to your hair sometimes. The big question always is do I want to tuck my hair behind my ears? Okay, that looks tidier for sure. I love how this outfit is kind of like, well, it's like a good girl vibe, but then we added some like tough elements to it. I thought it turned out pretty like simple, but also interesting. And this is what it all looks like. So those are all my outfits inspired by Euphoria. Let me know which one was your favorite and I'm also curious to know which character was like the most eye-opening for you in season two. So let me know in the comments if you'd like. But thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna die of heat stroke in a second probably because it is boiling in here. So I'm gonna go and I will see you in my next video.